today's video I'm going to tell you what I would personally do if I had a house that was in foreclosure. We already live in a camper, we moved out of our house and we just sold it straight up and made a little bit of money on it, made like five grand and sold everything we had and moved into a camper and I would do the same exact thing if my house were to be in foreclosure because you're losing your house. You got to think about your options. You're either going to have to move into an apartment, rent, rent a house, live with family. There's so many options. Or, you know, you could, one not very uncommon option would be to live in a camp or live in something mobile, a tiny house, even tenting if you live in the right conditions. I wouldn't do it in the winter time, but it'd be a cool idea. I've thought about it. So the first thing I would do would be Get a garage sale ready, sell everything you can, get down to the basics. Hey Alma, the minimum stuff that you absolutely need. You'll feel a lot freer once you do that, when you get rid of stuff, and you'll even make money off it. We had a garage sale like five years ago, and we got rid of, that was when we got rid of like most of our stuff, and we made like a little over two grand on it, so that was awesome. Sell everything, just get rid of it. Furniture, even if it's like sentimental to you or something in some way like certain things I've taken a picture of it it's on my phone I know I've had it I can remember what it looks like and then just donate it or get rid of it like even boxes of pictures like people keep the weirdest stuff like boxes of pictures of family like either scan them and upload them to your computer to save so they're not like so you don't have a bunch of stuff laying around or I've even taken pictures with my phone of the pictures so you know you can still have them but they don't take up space stuff like that or like artwork from when you were a kid in school like parents probably have all their kids as you know papers from you know kindergarten into when they graduated just save important stuff take a picture of it so you can remember it get rid of it um, seriously just keep the basics couple dishes for how many people are gonna be living with you you know silverware all that stuff Minimize your clothing if you can. I literally have two pairs of jeans, and I don't really even wear jeans. I should probably just get rid of those. Then I have like workout clothes, like several different pairs of them, and those like fold up so small they don't even really take up much space. And then I have like two dresses, which I don't really wear. I have three pairs of shoes. I have cycling shoes, a pair of running shoes, and then I have flip flops, which I should probably get rid of because I fell once in them and got a scrape on my foot and they're just kind of useless I'd rather just be barefoot so you can really really downsize a lot of stuff you know keep the important stuff that's gonna benefit your life because the main things you need to worry about is your health your happiness keeping a roof over your head man health I feel like health is where it's at so like you know keep room for your food storage keep Find a way to, you know, have your workout equipment with you. Like, we have all of our bikes on the back. We have three different bikes on there. Um, what else? We have a stroller that we keep in the back seat of our truck because for running, Alma can't really run yet, so that's the only time I use a stroller is if we go on a run. Yeah, so just, just free up your life for the important things. You don't need a huge walk-in closet full of designer clothes so that you can go out to the club and impress people. Like I've never done that. I don't even see the point in it. There's no point in it. So if that's the kind of people you're after, I feel sorry for you. You should probably change your direction. Live simply, because seriously, the good guys don't care about that kind of stuff. They don't care about some hoochie in a Gucci dress or whatever it is, high heels and all that. I plan on never wearing high heels again in my life. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, foreclosure, it happens all over the place. It's a flawed system to begin with. The bankers are just creating money out of nowhere, just printing, printing it on paper like it's nothing because it seriously is nothing. Might as well just burn it. Seriously doesn't make any sense. I would seriously... Hi, Hi Alma. Hi. Yeah. Just treasure the experiences. Don't treasure the things that you can buy material-wise, like accessories and shoes and clothes and vehicles. It's like, yeah, we do have a really expensive and nice vehicle, but it's all we have and it's what we live in. So check it out. 
That's all we got. That's what we got and it's awesome. Loving it. So yeah, have make moments and experiences. Travel around, travel the world. Um, meet awesome people. I, I can't wait to just keep meeting people everywhere we go, just around the country and hopefully we can expand and check out Thailand or Costa Rica or some of those other places that just have awesome fruit. So that's what I would do personally if I was in a situation where my house was foreclosing. Man, it's, it's kind of like a blessing, like you don't even want that. You don't want a mortgage, you're just paying a certain group of people which own the banks, they own the media, and they own the pharmaceutical companies, all that stuff. It's the same group of people and they're screwing you at every turn, everywhere you go. So vote with your dollar, do what really matters. You don't need a house, even if you have several kids, Google full-time families. It's also a Facebook group. There are lots of people in that group where they're in a camper and they're traveling full-time with six, seven, eight, ten kids even. So don't let that stop you. It's actually, I feel like it's more fun for the kid because then they can be homeschooled. They don't have to sit in a desk all day and it's just fun. So that's what I would personally do. Check all that stuff out and ditch the mortgage. Get rid of it.